Good morning everyone. Welcome back to grade 5 mathematics class. So we have been learning about multiplication. Today we'll talk about the word problems in multiplication. Now we have learned about keywords in addition and subtraction. In multiplication also you can use some keywords to identify the word problem as a multiplication word problem. So these are some words that you can see in multiplication word problems. Each such product twice, thrice, in days or in weeks or in months or in years and a combination of each or you have to find the total or such total. These are some of the keywords that you see in multiplication word problems. Let's look at one example now. Look at this question. A basket of apples costs rupees 1346. What is the cost of 96 such baskets? So in the question, you are given the cost of one basket of apple. How much is it? That is rupees 1346. And you are asked to find out the cost of 96 such baskets. So one basket costs rupees 1346. There are 96 such baskets. You have to find out the total cost of all these baskets. If you know the, the cost of one basket, we can easily find out the cost of 96 basket by multiplying the, num uh, the number of baskets with the cost of one basket. So did you notice this keyword such? So that's a clue where you can identify this word problem as a multiplication word problem. So from the data given in the question, let's write down the steps. Now, the cost of one basket of apple equal to rupees 1346 and how many baskets we have we have the number of baskets equal to 96 and the total cost would be equal to the cost of one basket into the number of baskets that we have now let's substitute the data that would be equal to 1346 into 96 let's do the multiplication in the working column 1300 46 into 96. So, how do we multiply? We start with the ones. 6 into 6 equal to 36. A carry over 3. Now, 6 into 4 equal to 24 plus 3, 27. A carry over 2. 6 into 3, 18 plus 2 is 20. Carry over 2. Now, 6 into 1, 6 plus 2, it is 8. Now, Let's multiply the 9 tenths with the multiplicand. So 9 into 6, it is 54. So you write the 4 here and carry over the 5 to the next place. And 9 into 4 is 36 plus 4, it is 41. 1. Now 4. 9 into 3 is 27 plus 4 is 31. Carry over 3 here. 9 into 1 is 9 plus 3, it is 12. Now you can insert zeros here to make up for the places. 6 plus 0, let's add the products. This is the first product, the second product. Now let's add the products. 6 plus 0 is 6, 7 plus 4 is 11, carry over 1, 1 plus 0, 1 plus 1, 2, 8 plus 1, 9, then 2 here. So we have the product now. So the cost of 96 baskets or the total cost will be equal to rupees 1,29,216. I hope this is clear to you. Let's see one more example. Look at this question given here. There are 1,520 children in a school. The school collects rupees 125 from each student for charity. Find the total amount collected. So. There are 1520 children in the school and from each student an amount of rupees 125 was collected. You have to find out what was the total amount collected. So how do we calculate this? We have the number of children and the amount collected from each one of the students. So we need to just multiply these two numbers to get the total amount collected. So from the question, let's write down the steps. The amount collected from each student. From the question, we know it is rupees 125. Now, the total amount collect collected will be 
the number of children into the amount collected from each student. The number of children from the question we know it is 1520. So let's do the multiplication now. So 1520 into 125. Now let's do the multiplication. You can do the calculation in the working column. I'm taking a fresh page here. So the numbers are 1520 into 125. So 5 into 0, 0. 5 into 2, 10. Carry over 1. 5 into 5, 25 plus 1, 26. Carry over 2. 5 into 1, 5 plus 2 is 7. Now let's take the second one or the tenth digit. 2 into 0, it is 0. 2 into 2, it is 4. 2 into 5, 10. Carry over 1. 2 into 1, 2 plus 1, it is 3. Now let's do the multiplication with the hundreds digit of the multiplier. Now 1 into 0, 0. 1 into 2 is 2. 1 into 5 it is 5 and 1 into 1 it is 1. Now let's insert zeros to make the places. So 0 once. Now here 0 tens and 0 once. Now let's add the three products. That gives you 0, 0. Here it is 10. Carry over 1. 2 plus 7, 9. Plus 1 it is 10. Carry over 1. 5 plus 3, 8 plus 1, 9. And 1. So, so the total amount collected will be equal to rupees 1,90,000. So I hope this was clear to you. Now as an activity for the day, you have to go through the topic word problem starting in page number 24 of your textbook. Then move on to exercise 2.2. .2. You have to do the question numbers 2, 4, 5 and 6. Question number 3 we have already discussed here. So I hope this was interesting. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Until then, bye.